be an everlasting covenant. I will establish them and increase their numbers. I will put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Then the nations will know that I, the Lord, make Israel holy when my sanctuary is among them forever. Basically, I was, I was just up all night and, uh, well, not up all night, but last night I just, I was reading this. Вчера ночью я читал это. And it spoke about the Israelites coming up out of uh, Egypt. И это объясняется, как когда Израиль выходил с Египта. Out of bondage. С рабства. And brought into freedom. И входили в свободу. Into the promised land. В обетованную землю. Обетованную землю. And God makes a promise to them and he says, I will be their God and they will be my people. И Господь говорит, я даю вам обет, что вы будете моим народом. Я буду вам вашим Богом. He didn't go into, down into details saying that they will have all of these fields, they will have all of these vineyards. Он не говорил им сразу все мелочи, что все, что они будут иметь. All the homes that were built that, that they would live in that they put no work in, no effort into building whatsoever. Все дома, которые они приобретут, что им не надо будет их строить. He didn't emphasize all the stuff. Он не делал ударения на все вещи эти. He emphasized the thing that mattered most. Он сделал ударение что главное. I will be yours and you will be mine. Я буду ваш и вы будете моим. So right now in this moment в этот момент as we all stand for worship давайте встанем чтобы прославить его let's not focus on all the things of this world и не обращайте внимание на вещи которые вокруг нас all these things that will fade те вещи которые пропадут в один день focus on the thing that is eternal но поставьте свой разум на те вещи которые вечные on the promise that stands forever and ever на этот обет который стоит that he is yours and you are his you have that opportunity right now to give it all to him so put everything else aside close your eyes just lift your hands to him who is worth it all and right now just lift up your voices and just start to praise start to pray right now just start to lift them on high Father God, we are in this place and we worship you, Father. We thank you for the promise that you have given to us, Lord. It is an eternal promise. It is not something that will be here today and fade tomorrow. It will, it will stand forever and ever. It is something that you have given us. You have given us your heart. Father, you have came down to earth. You gave it all that we might be set free, that everything that separates us from you would be gone and that we would be yours and that you would be ours father god we are here for you for you alone god we hunger and thirst for your presence may you fill this place fill this place god to worship? Вы готовы прославлять Иисуса? Что-то вас не слышу. Не слышу вас. There you go. Любовь без 
I will sing, I will sing. И славу всю достоин принять, Агнец победивший смерть на кресте. И славу всю достоин принять, Агнец победивший смерть на кресте. И славу всю достоин принять. Пойте слова на этом месте, Агнь всю достоин принять. Sing it out. И славу всю достоин принять. Proclaim that in this place right now. И славу всю достоин принять. Come on, church. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King. our praise for for we come to glorify you King you are our father we magnify your name in this place only you are worthy father there's no other person in this world no created God by a human mind that is worthy father of all that you deserve and we'll come to you, Jesus. We we'll say we worship you. We honor you. We glorify you, Jesus. For you are worthy. Only you are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. Jesus.
Ты святой гад.
name of Jesus, Father God. No other name that is as beautiful, as powerful, as glorious, as magnificent as the name of Jesus. The name that we magnify. The name that we lift up. The name that we glorify. The name that we give all the praise, all the honor, all the worship. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. We lift in this place. We glorify in this place. For you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, Father. There is no rival. There is no equal, Father. There is no equal to your name, Father. There is no equal to your name, Father. Oh, so beautiful and so majestic. You breathe life into us. Your name is so beautiful. Your name is what carries power. Not even the words that we sing, Father. Or what we play, Father. It is your name that brings power that brings glory into this place, into this atmosphere, Father God. Oh, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Church, you can keep playing. As many of you know, I had a baby son that was born a few days ago. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And we already had a name picked out for him. Мы уже имели имя для него. Было готово все. И это было имя Израиль. Я уже пять месяцев мечтал о этом имени. И когда приезжаем в этот роддом, что-то внутри, like, в сердце начало дух так просто тревожить. И мне Марин говорил, I'm like, honey, это не его имя. Я это выбрал пять месяцев назад, но это не его имя. Не знаю, какое имя, но давай молиться, давай молиться. Боже, какое имя пошлешь? А я ей укол дали, она, honey, дай мне поспать, я не мучи меня сейчас. Ну, просто молился. И листал через имена просто. И вспомнил, что Год назад, когда мы за чревли, это имя Изекиль. Это обозначение сила Бога. Я просто посмотрел так и, пош... и записал, может, еще 10 имен. И потом, когда он родился, Дух Святой сразу показывает. Только вышел я сразу, он Ханечка, его имя Изекиль. Он так на меня смотрит, он говорит, ты это не хотел имя? Она говорит, ну Бог показал вот это имя, вот это его имя. И вот это все, может, то, что Бог принес эту новую жизнь, мою, мою жизнь. Ты ощущаешь Божье присутствие больше и больше и больше. Когда Бог тебя касается. И потом Влад подходил. Вот то, что он читал сегодня. 
и Марк подходил. То же самое имя было и в их них, просто в их мыс, мысли. Говорит, Давид, ты, ты не представишь, но я вот книгу открываю, Влад говорит, и вот тут вот, вот, вот это место, а потом смотрю, это Езекииль. И потом Марк подходит, Давид, не знаю, откуда, но это имя было у меня. И Бог мне просто подтверждение дает, и дает, и дает, что это Его, что это Его Сын, и что сила Бога будет с Ним всегда. Father, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your presence, for your kind, beautiful presence, Jesus. That you live inside this church. Inside every member, every visitor, everybody that comes here. They live and they breathe your name, Father. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. And we magnify your name, Jesus. We glorify you, Father. We exalt your name. Can we sing that? What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. presence that comes with the name of Jesus over every family, over every child, over every husband, over every wife, right now in Jesus' name. We profess and we proclaim, we prophesy the name of Jesus over every family and the power in the name of Jesus. over every family, every son and daughter. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. And everybody said all together, Amen. Amen. Слава Господу. Praise be to God. Бог чудесный, наш Господь. God is good. He is our God. Его имя дорого для нас. И мы ценим и дорожим Его именем. В Нем наша сила. Слава Господу. Прежде чем мы будем иметь участие в, заповед... э, в пожертвованиях наших, я хотел бы небольшое свидетельство сказать о верности Бога а то, что для Бога мы, э, все наши дела, они важны. 
that every all, everything that's going on in our lives matters to God. Все наши моменты нашей жизни, они важны. Господь заботится. Сегодня утром, читая 67-й Псалом, мне вспомнилось одно свидетельство из нашей личной жизни, как Бог отвечает на молитвы. И знает, как помочь, когда мы нуждаемся в помощи. Мы можем не знать этого, а Он уже все приготавливает для нас. И в 11 стихе, здесь во второй части, сказано, «Ты готовил необходимое для бедного». Однажды Бог сказал это слово Ирине. Когда у нас была нужда особая, Ирине. Да. Она читала, когда у нас была нужда в том, чтобы поменять машину. Она уже была старая машина у нас. И мы думали, что нужно обновить ее хоть немножко поновее. И мы не знали, как это сделать. Мы ее продали. Машины нету, денег немного, и где купить, не знаем. Думали в Германии, позвонили одному пастору, он сказал, за эти деньги вы еще купите хуже, чем у вас было. Но Бог послал одного человека, который говорит... В Швейцарии вы можете купить за эти деньги. И я не буду много говорить, но все устроилось. Дешевые билеты. Одна сестра приняла нас, которая давно-давно с нами не имела контакта. Мы в воскресенье побыли в прекрасных служений, в субботу вечером и в воскресенье. И в понедельник пошли искать машину. Какое наше было удивление. Ничего по нашим деньгам нету абсолютно. И вечером мы пришли домой, когда приехали. Эта сестра, которая приняла, This она больше за нас us. расстроилась. Was more, um, we were. Она поговорила с мужем she, своим. She spoke to her husband. И говорит, мы вам еще поможем. Третью часть, что у нас было, только чтобы вы с машиной поехали. Said, so а мы говорим, мы получили слово от Бога. And Бог we... сказал... We told her, we have received the word from the Lord. God Он said, приготовил для бедного, по нужде для бедного. He have prepared for our, according to our needs. Ирина пересмотрела все сайты, все, что можно за этот and вечер. My wife every site, Ничего нет. And she couldn't find anything. И потом каким-то образом она посмотрела, где вещи продают. And then somehow she Барахоловку. looked on the site where just regular clothes were sold. Мы, мы знали, какую мы машину хотим, чтобы было семь мест, so чтобы мы могли на служение places, людей so привозить, church, чтобы мы могли служить этой машиной. So И среди этих вещей through all, through all this, была эта машина, которая нас ждала. Sold, Когда, в этот же вечер поздно мы позвонили этой женщине, that которая night, продавала. Она сказала, завтра приезжайте. Said, Пока мы приехали к утрам, она говорит, же 10 человек звонила, но we, я вам пообещала первым. Said, car, Дорогие, Бог благословил. Полный бак бензина. Все как нужно. Like Почему? Why? Потому что, когда мы верны, Бог остается верен. He is И я вспомнил этот стих, который мы хорошо знаем в Малахии well. в третьей главе, Malachi, three, где сказано, принеси Господу то, что ты должен, десятины твои пожертвования, испытай 
and test the Lord. Test his faithfulness. And if you will do this, God will be faithful. Psalm 66 says all about God's faithfulness. May God bless us all. bring everything that we have. Не потому, что нас это обязывает, но мы это будем делать с добрым сердцем, kind of hearts, с любовью к Господу, и Бог благословит нас. Он верен Бог. Он сказал, и Он исполняет. So so. Давайте мы встанем. Господь, мы благодарны Тебе, что Ты верный Бог. Ты вникаешь в каждую нужду нашу, ты вникаешь во все переживания сердца нашего. И когда мы верны Тебе, когда мы праведны пред лицем Твоим, тогда, Господи, Ты верность свою доказываешь во всех путях, Господи наши, когда мы нуждаемся в Твоей помощи. И поэтому сегодня я прошу Тебя, благослови, Господи, когда мы будем жертвовать, чтобы и это было от глубины сердца нашего, с радостью, зная, что мы служим этим не себе, не кому-то, но Тебе, живому Богу, послушание ходя воле Твоей. Да будет Твое благословение над всей церковью, над каждой семьей, над каждым домом, потому что Ты, Бог, верный. Аллилуйя тебе за все.
Любовь чиста, любовь все сильна, только любовь жива. Подними свои глаза, посмотри на небеса, Бог с тобой и со мной, Сын Отец и Дух Святой. Слава Богу. Детки, пожалуйста, выходим наперед, мы помолимся, вы пойдете в классы. Дети, выходим. Иисус сказал, что не препятствуйте детям приходить ко мне. Пусть в нашем сердце будет там молитва, мы могли сказать, Господь, вот эти дети, которых Ты дал нам, благослови их сегодня. Пусть Божья рука будет в жизни этих детей. А на нас ответственность, как родителей, благословлять, чтобы они были благословлены. Ихняя жизнь, она была всегда с Богом. Давайте мы встанем, прострем руки, как церковь, как родители. Мы благословим этих детей. Аллилуйя, Господь. Ты тогда сказал, что не препятствуйте, чтобы они приходили ко мне. И сегодня, Господь, наше огромное желание, чтобы Ты сам возложил руки на этих детей во имя Иисуса Христа. Мы молимся об этом. Чтобы Ты сам, прикоснувший к ним, был дальше их своей рукой. Возьми каждого. Каждая жизнь да будет в Твоих руках, Господь. 
чтобы они были благословлены, чтобы они были защищены, чтобы они были под Твоей охраной и защитой, Господь. И кровь Твоя, кровь Иисуса Христа, да будет над нашими детьми, потому что они Твои, они принадлежат Тебе, Господь. И мы сегодня также их веряем в Твои руки, чтобы Ты сам, возлагая на них свои руки, ты мог, Господь, благословить их лично, чтобы они могли жить в познании Бога, в этом возрастать, и чтобы они могли крепнуть в вере, Господь, и чтобы они были наполнены Тобою, крещены Духом Святым, и они были водимы Тобой во имя Иисуса Христа. Мы также молимся и благословляем тех учителей, которые будут заниматься с детьми, чтобы особое помазание было на них. Дух Святой, возьми их них в удел, их сердце, их дух, их не уста, чтобы они могли говорить то, что нужно нашим детям. Во имя Иисуса Христа. Аминь. Благословений. Проходите в глаз. Слава Господу. Приятно, когда много детей. Я бывал в церквях, где самому молодому члену церкви 70 лет. Я думал, что-то неправильно в этой церкви. Но слава Господу, что у нас много детей. И мы молимся, чтобы Иисус прикасался к ним. And we pray that Jesus would touch every single one of them. Amen. Amen. Because the touch of Jesus changes lives. Hallelujah. 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 While well, parents are coming back, I want to say a couple of announcements. Uh, the season of Christmas already begun. We already see children perform. Магазины идем везде уже все украшено. We see in every stores everything is already decorated. Все красиво. Everything is pretty. Играет музыка. Music is playing. В машине радио все время рождественские песни. All radios stations are playing Christmas music. Везде ощущается эта атмосфера праздника. Everywhere you feel this celebration. Это здорово. And it's good. Знаете что, ожидание праздника порой лучше праздника. Sometimes waiting for a celebration is better than the celebration itself. Потому что как-то так все чувства, они так. All the feelings and emotions, all the excitement. Так, знаете, такие как оголенный нерв. It's kind of good. Мы все ждем. We're all waiting. Дети ждут подарков. Kids are waiting for presents. Не знаю, что взрослые ждут. Билы как кредитку потом оплачивать, наверное. I know that probably all the older folk are waiting for the bill. Uh, from a credit card to pay off all the gifts. No, but it's good. And we will overcome all that with the uh, mercy of God. Uh, next Sunday, the older choir is going to perform. And we're going to have a musical here. It's a play as well. I don't know how to say it correctly. И я хочу вдохновить всех нас, чтобы мы не пропустили. And I want to encourage everyone not to miss it. И также приглашайте своих друзей. And also invite your friends. Приглашайте ваших соседей. Invite your neighbors. Даже американцев приглашайте. Even, even Americans, invite them. Вся сценка будет на английском. The, pretty much the entire play is going to be in English. Поем тоже на английском. We sing in English. Я думаю, что им будет не так совсем плохо среди нас. I believe нас. that they're going to have a good time amongst us. Но, друзья, это наша ответственность, чтобы дом Божий наполнялся людьми. But it is our responsibility so that the house of the Lord will be filled. На этой неделе читал Луки 14 глава. I was reading in this, this week I was reading Luke 14. Христос притчу рассказывал. And Jesus was telling this parable. И говорит: "Убедите прийти, чтобы наполнился дом мой." And he says, uh, "Convince so they would come so they will be filled." Он говорил о пире, который устроил Господин. He was talking about a, uh, uh, a feast that um, Christ prepared. Приглашенные не пришли. And then the ones who were invited, they didn't show up. И он вдохновил своих слуг, говорит, идите. And then he, he encouraged his servants, go. Говорит, и приглашайте всех. And invite everyone. И не просто зовите. And don't just 
call them, говорит, but to bring them, их, convince them to come, говорит, so that my house will be filled. Друзья, God wants for his house to be filled. And God is against empty churches. This, is, uh, this saying is against empty churches. If the church is empty, that's not the will of God. God said, go and bring them so the house of the Lord will be filled. God wants his house to be filled. And it's our responsibility to fill this house, to convince people, to bring people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, I would, would like to encourage everyone Uh, to notice each other's needs more so in, the, in this uh, celebration season. Uh, invite each other to, to your homes. Perhaps someone has a big house and big families and you don't feel the loneliness. Perhaps a lot of you have many friends, you don't feel the loneliness. But there are families who have arrived not too long ago. They don't have that much friends or relatives. Please notice them. Notice who have many children. Perhaps bless them. Uh, people sometimes ask me, can you give me a name or a family? Perhaps I can bless them on, on Christmas. <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm gladly answering these text messages. I tell them and I show people to bless others. We must see the needs of other people. We can't just look at ourselves. We must open our hearts to one another. Hallelujah. So more so in this Christmas season, let us not wait so that someone will give me. Let us be the people who we will give something to someone and bless other people in this year. And not just in church, but perhaps we know some family outside the church. Be a blessing to them. It's always better to give than to receive. Hallelujah. I would like, also like to say we're going to receive members at the end of uh, uh, December soon. If you would like to become a member of Church Emmanuel, you are visiting us for some time. We have applications out, out there. Please take them. Uh, please come to me. We will meet together. And we will together serve the Lord. All right. Our time is flying. Uh, parents are already back. And we're going to hear the word of the Lord. As I already promised, I'm starting to preach from a Christmas text. Four services. Four services we're going to learn from uh, this season. And these stories can teach us so much. There's so much truth in them. And we're going to talk a little bit about them. And the topic of today's word a place for Jesus Christ. A place for Jesus Christ. Luke 2 from verse 1 to 7 if you could follow along. В те дни кесарь Август издал указ о проведении переписи по всей Римской империи. Это была первая перепись, и она проводилась в то время, когда Сирией управлял Квериний. Поэтому каждый отправился в свой город для регистрации. Иосиф тоже пошел из галилейского города Назарета в Иудею, в город Давида, называемый Вифлеем, потому что он был потомком Давида. Он отправился на перепись вместе с Марией, 
которая была с ним обручена и ожидала младенца. В Вифлееме у Марии подошло время родов, и она родила своего первенца, запеленала его и положила в кормушку для скота, потому что для них не нашлось места в гостинице. Такой интересный текст Писания. A very interesting passage. Мы видим, что произошло в те дни. We see what happened in those days. Мы читаем в те дни. We see in those days. Начинаются эти стихи в те дни. The beginning of the story is like in those days. В те дни что-то произошло. Something happened. По каким-то непонятным причинам именно в те дни. For some reason, only in those days. Господь побудил императора римского. God have placed on the, uh, Caesar's heart. Чтобы сделать перепись по всей земле. To do a uh, to do account of his people. И вся римская империя она пришла в движение. And the entire Roman uh, government start to move. Люди они должны были вернуться в город своих предков. People had to go back to where they were born. То откуда произошли их предки, потомки where they were born, the cities they were born in. And everyone had to go back to their own cities. I believe it was a very hard time. It was a big confusion. People lived in one city. They had to go back to a different city, perhaps across the whole country. I believe it was a big traffic. Uh, horses and donkeys. They were asking each other, how, what turn do, do I take? Where, how do I get there? Everyone had to go back to their own cities. And Mary and Joseph they were both from Bethlehem. And from Galilee, it was on the other side. They had to go to Judah. Bethlehem. I don't know how long it took him to, to travel that much. But I was just thinking, why in those days that God placed on Caesar's heart to do an account of his people? Perhaps there was no better days? Why couldn't he think of that earlier? Or why this idea he didn't have later? But for some reason in that moment, whenever Mary had to bear a child, Caesar announced his account of his people. Simple reason. A simple reason. Bethlehem translates as a uh, house of bread. A house of bread. Whenever Jesus was already born and he was going around the world teaching, he was saying, I am the bread of life. Listen carefully. The bread of life had to be born in the house of bread. The bread of life had to be born in the house of bread. In order to help Joseph and Mary to be at the correct place at the right time, God had to move the entire Roman uh, um, civilization. God had placed on Caesar's heart only in those days to organize an account for all his people to help in some ways to force Joseph and Mary to be at the right time at the right place because the bread of life had to be born in the house of bread. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm most certain if we are walking before the Lord in obedience that God will move everything around us so me, so me and you will be at the right place at the right time. Hallelujah. God will send the right people. God will, uh, will move things around you in order to help you and I to be where we need to be. Hallelujah. 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 
И вот мы читаем. And so we read, we continue to read. Они пришли в город Вифлея. They have come to Bethlehem. И Марии пришло время родить. And there came a time where Mary had to bear a child. И написано, что она родила в яслях. And it says that she was she gave birth in uh, или в хлеву. In a barn, stable. И положила ребенка в ясли. And she have put placed this child in a manger. Почему? Why? По простой причине. A simple reason. Мы читаем, потому что не нашлось им We read that there were no place in uh, hotels. Jesus couldn't find a place in a hotel. He had come into his city, but he had no place there. He had arrived into his city, but he didn't have a place. He had come into his city, And he had to be born in a stable. He had no place in the house, in the hotel. And I have one question to every one of us. Do I have a place for Jesus in my heart? Do I have a place for Jesus in my house? Do I have a place for Jesus in my mind? In my life? Do I have a place for him? Or is it too tight for him in here? Listen. Is Jesus comfortable in my life? Does he have a place inside of me? Does he have a place inside of my house? And does he have a place in my family? Listen, friends. The truth is in this. In order for Jesus to, to have to, we have a place. In order for Jesus to have a place in me. I need to prepare a place for him. I need to make a place for him. I need to make a place for him. I need to give this space to him. So he would have a place in my life. In my heart. In my house. I need to give him this place. Listen carefully. Я должен ему дать место. I need to give him this place. Когда мы читаем Ефесянам 4:27, when we read Ephesians 24:27, там написано не давайте место дьяволу. It's written, do not give any space to devil. Друзья, мы с вами решаем, кому мы даем место в своей жизни. We are making the decision who are we giving a space to. И тот, кому мы даем место, тот и будет жить или управлять в нашем доме. And the one who are we giving our space to, he's going to govern our life or our house. Если мы даем место дьяволу, if we are giving our our place to devil, то он и будет наполнять это место. And he will fill this space up. И он будет управлять моей жизнью. And he will govern my life. Каким образом я даю место дьяволу в своем доме, своей жизни? How do I give a place for devil in my life? Через дела плоти. Through the deeds of the flesh. Когда мы читаем Галатам пятую главу. When we read Galatians five. Там написано дела плоти такие. It's written the deeds of the flesh are those. Вражда, ненависть, похоть, зависть. It's hatred and jealousy. Ссоры. Slander, and so on and so forth. There's a, there, there's a big uh, list. And whenever we are giving space to the devil through the deeds of our flesh, then our life will be filled with them. But we are choosing. Who are we giving a space to? He says, don't give the place for devil. Who do you need to give it to then? That means give it to the Lord. We are choosing who are we giving our space to? In our mind, in our hearts, in our thoughts, in our lives, in our house. What kind of an atmosphere will I have in my house? Will I have love, peace, and joy? Will it be spirits of fruits of the spirits or will it be deeds of the flesh? We are choosing who are we giving the space to. And whoever we're going to give the space to, that's 
he's going to be there. If we're going to give the place for the devil, he will govern. But if we give to, to the Lord, we're allowing God to fill our lives through the deeds of the Spirit, through our prayer in our house, through the Word of God in our house through the good atmosphere we are allowing God to fill our house to fill our relationship and when you are coming to such house and it's good to be there we are choosing who are we giving a space to every one of us who will you give a space to are you given to the Lord or you given to the devil and whenever we are given to the devil does it mean we are given it to someone with horns with it's whenever we are living by our, by our flesh it's whenever we are only remembering of God sometime on Sunday even though sometimes forget about it and don't even show up on Sunday whenever we are so busy with our own deeds with our own things we don't even have time and we are not giving him any time any space. Whoever we're given our space to, that's who, who's going to govern us. Uh, Genesis 8. 8 and 9. We are reading about Noah whenever it was a flood. And it was almost the end of the flood. And then, and then we see that Noah released a dove. But dove couldn't find a place. Когда мы читаем Библию, мы знаем, что голубь это символ Духа Святого. When we read the Bible, we see that a dove is a symbol of Holy Spirit. И вот Господь, друзья, он посылает Духа своего в нашу жизнь. So God is sending Holy Spirit into our life. Точно так же, как Ной выпустил голубь. In the same way how Noah released a dove from the ark. Вот голубь полетал. Uh, the dove circled around. The dove was flying. Listen carefully. And he couldn't find a place. And he went back to the ark. God is sending the Holy Spirit so many times into our lives. Holy Spirit comes down here on the service while we worship in God. A, a very strong presence of God. God is sending Holy Spirit. God is sending His Holy Spirit. Does the Holy Spirit find a place in your life? That's the question today. Does the Holy Spirit find a place? Or does He come down and He is here amongst us, around us? And He is approaching everyone. But our thoughts are far away from Him. With our body we are here, but with our thoughts we are far away. We are praying, we're worshiping, but we are somewhere far away, we are far away in our mind, for somebody, somebody's walking in the, in the hallways, we are far away, and Holy Spirit comes, and He wants to find a place in our life, He wants to talk to us, He wants to in, uh, influence us, He wants to teach us, He wants to change us, He wants to correct us, but we are far, far from him. And he comes. And it's, it's written that he was hovering. That the Holy Spirit was hovering over the water. A lot of times he's hovering over our lives. He's hovering over the church. He's hovering over your house so often. And he wants to find a place there. To change your house. To change the hearts of the, of the house. But he can't 
can find because the house are full of slander. The houses are full of problems. The houses are full with, with slander. They are full of different thoughts. There is no place for the Lord there. They, they talk, think about things of this earth way too much. Or desires or to become rich. Or some other things. We are filled with so much that we don't even have place. We don't have, we don't have a, a foundation for a Holy Spirit to land on and to start working within us. Friends, we must give a place for the Lord so He will be able to reach onto us. We have to give Him a foundation so He will have somewhere to land, somewhere to, to start. Hallelujah. 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 Listen carefully. Jesus said these one words. You can't serve God and, and uh, money. Because if you're going to serve one, then you're going to start not serve the other. You can't serve two masters. You can't have a place for both. If you are given a place for one, automatically you have less space for the other one. If, if I'm given space to the devil, you have less space for God. If I'm given a place for my flesh, I have a less place for God. You can't do, give more to God and more to the devil. It doesn't work that way. But if I'm given more to God, less of devil going to be in my life. Less of flesh I will have in my Less life. Less of, of uh, lust I will have in my life. The more space I give to God Hallelujah. in my house. Hallelujah. John the Baptist said once, he says he has to grow. But I need to decrease. The more God grows in us, we become less. The more of God, the more space I give Him, the less I have of me, the less of the devil, the less of the flesh. But if I give space to flesh, the less and less becomes of God. It, it, both of them cannot succeed in my life. It, it, it's impossible. So you and I, we must learn this. To give space to the Lord. Jesus could not find a place in a hotel. He could not find it. He, he had to be somewhere else out there. I don't want Jesus to be in a different place. I don't want him to be in my life. And I want him to find a place in my life. Hallelujah. 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 And you and I are making that decision. Who will give the space to? That's the one who will fill our life. And that's the one who will govern us. Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was led by the Holy Spirit. The one who is filling me up, he will lead my life. Whatever is filling me up, whatever I give space to, it will guide me. If I only give space to, to uh, offenses, if I give space to lies, Slender, that's what's going to guide me. Because what I give a space to, that will govern me. Hallelujah. Where there is no space for the Holy Spirit, He cannot work there. It's written that the dove uh, went away from the ark, he flew around and came back to the ark. Wherever there is no space, Holy Spirit just goes back where it came from. It goes away. He goes away upset. Uh, Bible also says, do not uh, uh, get the Holy Spirit angry or upset. 
he does not find space and he goes away and he goes back where he came from. So it is my and your dis, uh, opportunity um, a task so we will do we will do whatever so that Jesus and the Holy Spirit will have a place in my life in my mind in my house it is our responsibility so that God would have a place. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Мне нравится, как Давид пишет Psalm 131. How David writes Psalm 130. 132. С 3 по 5 стихи. 3 and 5. 3 to 5. Говорит, не войду в свой дом и не ляжу в свою постель. Не дам сна моим глазам и векам своим дремания. Говорит, пока не найду место Господу, жилища сильному. David was very responsible to this question. He said, I will not rest. I will not go to sleep. I will not give rest to my eyes. I will not stop until I find a place for the Lord in my life, in my house, in my country. David was a king. David was a king. He wasn't just thinking of his house and himself, but he was thinking of his entire country. And he wanted it with, everything, with his whole heart so God would have a place. And he said, I will not rest. I, it's not going to be uh, nothing for me. I will not rest until I find a place for the Lord. I like how he thinks. Lord, help us. So it will be a priority number one. Lord, I want you to take a space in my life. In my house so that you will be comfortable so that you would want to come here you know when Jesus was walking around the, uh, the earth he was visiting many homes a lot of people would invite him a lot of people invite him to weddings a lot of times they would just invite him just to pray he was entering many homes but there is one house listen there is one house where Jesus continually wanted to go again and again where Jesus always had a place where Jesus they were always waiting on Jesus where Jesus was loved his friends were there he was comfortable in there. He, he could rest in that house. He could be himself. He didn't have to argue or, or prove his point with Pharisees. He could just rest in that house. He, he liked going back there. And as we read uh, the scripture, we hear that that he constantly goes back to that house. It was a house of Lazarus. Jesus loved to be in that house. He knew that he was loved in that house. And he loved these people. What's interesting? When we read the New Testament, when we read the four Gospels, it's only written about these three people that Jesus loved them. John 11.5 It's written because Jesus loved Lazarus, Martha and Mary. Jesus loved them. Only of these people it's written that way. Of course, it's also, also written that he loved that man, that rich man. You remember that story. It's a little different scenario there. But of these three people, it's written that he loved them. He loved them. He, 
He liked being in their house. В этом доме ему было комфортно. It was comfortable in his in that знаете, house. Знаете, что есть дома, где Иисусу комфортно. You know, there's homes where Jesus is comfortable есть in. Есть люди, с которыми Иисусу комфортно. There's people where Jesus is comfortable есть with. Есть люди, где Христос отдыхает. There's people where Jesus is resting. Есть дома, где Христос отдыхает. There's homes where Jesus is resting. В этих домах царит атмосфера царства Божьего. In these homes, you have the atmosphere of the kingdom of God. Там есть любовь. There's love. Там есть мир. There's peace. Там есть радость. There's joy. Там есть благочестие. Там есть вера. Humbleness. There is faith. Там есть все плоды духа. There's all the spirits of Там слово Божье почитается. The word of God is being honored there. Там есть страх Божий в таких There's a fear of the Lord. И Христу хочется быть в этих домах. And Jesus continually wants to go to those houses. Там есть место для него. There's place for him there. Но есть места. But there are places. Где Христу where Jesus cannot be comfortable. There are homes where Jesus is not comfortable in. You know why? Because there's slander. There's bad words. But there's hatred. Continuous uh, judgment. Where there's jealousy and slander, there's everything that's bad. In such house, there is no place for Jesus. That's why I'm saying you and I choose who will give space to. You and I choose. I want to be a person. I want to be a family. I want to be a house where Jesus is comfortable. Hallelujah. Where he comes and he's resting. And he's resting. And you can say, what is it you're saying? Does God need to rest somewhere? Do you know that God needs to rest somewhere? Isaiah 66, 1 and 2. Говорит, так говорит Господь. Говорит, небо мой престол. Говорит, земля под ножем моих ног. Говорит, где же вы построите дом для меня? Говорит, где место покоя моего? В английском написано, где место моего отдыха. It's uh, in English translation says, where is the place of my rest? Where is the place where I can rest? Everything that I've created, it's, it's done by my hand. Everything was there, so, says the Lord. But who will I see? But with a humble heart, that's the one I'm going to look at. And the one who is humbling himself before my word. Everything is mine. God says, I've made everything. I have created everything. I don't need anything. Heavens is my throne. It's like a big chair that I sit in. When we look at the millions of stars, it's like a chair that God just sits in. The earth это как подножка для ног его, друзья. It's like a stepping stool for him. Он великий Бог. He is a great God. Он все сотворил. He's created everything. Он говорит, вы ничего мне дать не можете. He says, you can't not give me anything. Все мое. Everything is mine. Я все создал. I have created everything. Но есть что-то, but there is something что вы можете мне предложить. That you can offer me. Есть что-то, there is something что вы можете для меня сделать. That you can do for me. Вы можете сделать для меня место. You can prepare a place for me. Место, a где place я смогу отдыхать. Where I can rest. Место для моего покоя. A place so I can rest. Место, где мне комфортно. A place where I'm comfortable где in. Где мне хорошо. Where it's good for me. Где я не напрягаюсь. Where I don't have to Hallelujah. work. Как Hallelujah. бы это ни звучало странно, друзья. Doesn't matter how strange it might sound. Господь говорит, я ищу такое место. God says, I am seeking for such a place. Я ищу таких людей. I'm seeking for such people. Я ищу таких семьи. I'm seeking for such families. Я ищу таких христиан. I'm looking for such Christians. Я ищу такие дома. I'm looking for such homes. Я смогу отдыхать. Where I can rest. Я смогу отдыхать. Where I can rest. Где я прихожу. Where I come. И там атмосфера чудес. And there's an atmosphere, a good atmosphere. Там любовь правит и все. A love governs all. There is no slander or evil. And you and I we can create such a place in our lives. 
Как, как мы можем сделать? And how can we do this? Или что нужно для этого? What do we need to do that? Господь говорит. Jesus is telling us. Говорит, я, говорит, найду это место. I will find such place. В людях, которые смиренные. In people who are humble. Говорит, в людях, которые сокрушенные. In people who are trembling. Это слово сокрушенный. This, this word trembling. Оно имеет значение кающийся. It means uh, repent. The one who repents. Contrite. В английском стоит слово contrite, это кающийся означает. In the English version it means uh, that is the person who is repenting. И Бог говорит, я, я обращаю внимание. And God says, I look on those. Я прихожу туда. I come there. Я нахожу место там. I find a place where где есть смирение. Where there is humbleness. Где есть послушание мне. Well, there is obedience to me. И где есть кающийся дух. And where there is a humble heart Другими that is словами, repenting. Люди, которые чувствительны ко мне. And people who are, are sensitive to me. Которые не ожесточают свои сердца. That are not getting hard in their hearts. Но они способны признавать свои ошибки. But they are able to find what they're wrong in. They are able to repent, to ask for forgiveness and to change. Onto those people I will look. It's comfortable for God where there's a repentant heart, where there's obedient heart. And the ones that are trembling before my word. Amongst those people. In those houses. I find a place to rest. I find a place for me. A place of rest. Hallelujah. 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 God says, prepare a place for me and I will come and I will eat with you and I will spend time with you if you'll just give me some space if you'll prepare a place I will come but if I have no place he have come to this hotel but he couldn't find place there so he turned around the Holy Spirit have come to this earth he have uh, flew away from the ark he flew around he could not find a place and he went back if he doesn't have a space God cannot remain but whenever we give him place God, is, God remains God works God blessing hallelujah in the place where Jesus is governed and going back to the story of uh, Christmas, when we read Matthew, second, about the star, uh, if God allows, I will preach on the star next Sunday. There's one moment, uh, Matthew 2, verse 9, it talks about a wise man. Hallelujah. The star have arrived where Jesus was. And in the house where Jesus was, in the place where Jesus was, above that house the star stopped. Hallelujah. Whenever in my house there's, a, there's Jesus, the Lord's star will be on my house. When in my life, governs Jesus. When in my mind, Jesus governs. When in my house, Jesus governs. And there is a place for him. God, the star of God's star will be above my house. God's blessing will be over my house. God's mercy will be over my house. God's blessings will be over my house. If I have a Christ in my house, God's star have stopped on that place where Jesus was. Let us give us Lord strength. Let give us Lord wisdom, so we may live in such way, so that our lives that will have so much space for you, so much space for you. Let us stand to pray.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Мы будем молиться Господу. We will pray to God. Иисус. Say Jesus. Помоги мне дать тебе больше места. Help me to give you more space. Я сказал, чем больше места Бога. As I said, the more space you give to God, тем меньше остается для плоти. The less space you have for flesh. Тем меньше остается для дьявола. The less space you have for devil. И мы будем молиться Господу. And we will pray to God. Я хочу вдохновить каждого молиться. And I want to encourage everyone here. Pray about yourself. Pray of your own home. Say, Jesus, help me to give you more space. To give you more space. To give you more space. So I have no place in my life for devil at all. So I have no place for devil at all. So that you will have all the space. And you can fill my life. И ты мог отдыхать в наших домах. And you can rest in my home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Чтобы наши дома были заполнены твоей любовью. That your that our houses will be filled with твоей атмосферой. With your presence. Чтобы тебе было комфортно в наших you домах. You be comfortable in our homes. Тебе было комфортно в наших жизнях. You be comfortable in our lives. Hallelujah. 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 Чтобы наш дом он уподобился дому Лазаря, Марии и Марфы. И тебе хотелось приходить.